The number of known autism risk genes has jumped to higher than 100 thanks to a groundbreaking collaborative new study covering thousands of DNA samples. 33 genetic variants have been identified that increase a child's risk for autism, with 107 total anomalous variations implicated. This more than doubles the number of genes scientists have previously considered. The study, published in Nature, blends the work of 37 research institutions, which demonstrates how different types of DNA, including, quote, synaptic, transcriptional, and chromatin genes, can all potentially increase a child's risk of developing autism. According to Time, the study's success has been due to its multinational collaboration. It's long been believed that autism is genetic, but a lack of large studies and advanced genomic sequencing has precluded any sort of consensus about what genes might be at play. Seven of the 33 genetic variants for increased autism spectrum disorder, or ASD risk, identified are original to this innovative study. Research has shown that there are two main ways children develop ASD. One is by inheriting a known mutated gene from their parents. The second is called de novo, Latin for from the beginning, where healthy genes spontaneously mutate just before a child is conceived. When those genes are mutated, the communication between brain cells is severely affected such that even the, the basic process of learning and memory is disrupted. Both known parental genes and de novo mutations were examined in this study. De novo mutations accounted for ASD prevalence, quote, significantly in excess of what scientists were anticipating. And 21 of the 107 potential ASD risk genes are also genes implicated in determining congenital heart disease, metabolic disorders, epilepsy, intellectual disability, and schizophrenia. This information comes at a time when the push for answers to diagnosis and treatment for ASD are at an all-time high. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the occurrence of ASD diagnoses for children born in the early 1990s was 1 in 150. As of 2010, ASD affects 1 in every 68 children in the United States. Scientists hope this research leads to more targeted medicine and better behavioral interventions early on in an ASD child's diagnosis. For Newsy, I'm Rosie Newberry.